Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Chef Keisha from Chef Keisha's Kitchen. Today we're doing king cake, a Mardi Gras king cake. I got this recipe from Taste of Home. I'm excited to get started, so let's get moving. We got a lot to do. The recipe asked for two packets of active yeast. I had the jar of yeast, so I had to measure out four teaspoons and a half of active yeast. It asks for a, a half a cup of milk. Um, and this milk is going to be warm to 110 to 115 degrees. Then it asks for three-fourths cups of sugar. And I had, it, I had to break it up. I had to divide it. So this is a half a cup. And then this is another fourth. Okay. Then it asks for a half a cup of a half a cup cup of butter um softened okay um as for um as for two egg yolks large egg yolks um let's see a fourth of a cup of salt and i'm gonna put all these ingredients in the description box lemon zest and that is a teaspoon a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon. Three and and one fourth to three and three fourths cups of flour. So I have two cups of flour in here. And then I did like a cup and a half of flour in here. Okay, then we need one large beaten egg. And that's what we need for the actual king cake. And Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my temperature of my water. It is 112 degrees, so it's ready. Because the recipe said anywhere between 110 and 115. So I'm gonna add my water. And then it says dissolve your yeast in the water. So I'm gonna pour my yeast into my water. Okay. Then next it says to add your half a cup of sugar. Okay, we know that yeast feeds off sugar, right? So, I'm a half a cup of sugar. Add your butter. All right, and then add your egg yolks. Egg yolks. Okay, my milk is at one one thirteen point four. So I put my milk in, and then I'm gonna add my egg yolks. Those in there. Let's get a spatula and scrape that out. The lemon zest. Gonna add that all in. And then my nutmeg. And then my two cups of flour. Well, the recipe says once that's smooth, go ahead and add in your other remaining flour. Okay, so that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to flour my surface and I'm going to pour my, pour my dough onto the surface. So now I'm going to knead my dough for, this is six to eight minutes. So I'm gonna make sure my hands is floured. I made sure my surface 
has enough flour on it and I'm gonna need my dough. So you press in and you bring in Make sure you keep flouring and when you feel that your surface is getting sticky, you add some more flour. So I'm down to the home stretch here. <sighs> Got about a minute left to knead this dough. So I'm still just turning it and using the palm of my, well not the palm, but this part of my hands to press into the dough. Turn and press and press so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some oil have a bowl here a bowl here now we're going to add a little oil to the bowl bowl like so smear that around so that our dough doesn't get stuck to them to the bowl and then we're going to take our dough we're going to sit it on inside and then we're going to put some oil on top of that as well okay you can use so we're going to cover this and then we're going to let it rise sit it in a warm place and let it rise for an hour so i take a clean cloth like this Put a little water on it, squeeze it out really good. Don't drench it with water, just a little water. And then cover it just like that. And then you have to sit it in a warm place. So what I usually do is just like sit it by the stove um, and let the stove and turn the stove on um, to get it going on preheating and as well help with this rising process. And I'm gonna let it sit there for an hour and I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna move it, I'm not gonna poke it or anything, just let it sit there for an hour. And then we'll be right back. So we got our dough that's risen to there. Twice its size as the instruction said. So we're gonna turn this over onto a flour surface, which is right here. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our handy dandy rolling pin and we're gonna roll this out. And it says it should be rolled out. Should be rolled out to the size of 16 by 10. 16 by 10 inches. You can see the specks of nutmeg in there. You can see the specks of lemon zest in there as well. So we're gonna take our sugar that we have here and we're gonna combine that with our cinnamon. And we're gonna mix that together. And we're going to sprinkle this all over the top. So once we get all our sugar in, then we're going to roll it up like we would do a jelly roast. Pin. And one more. Ring. Then it says pinch the ends together. Now we're going to let this rise for another hour. Same thing like we did before. We're going to take our towel, put it on top, and we're going to let this rise for an hour. Then we'll be right back. Okay, so that has been one hour. As you can see, it has risen. So I'm going to take our egg wash. So it's just basically eggs, and I just mixed it up. And I'm going to brush this egg wash onto my king cake all over. And then after we finish brushing this on, this is actually going to go in the oven on 375. My oven is preheated, and it's going to cook for... 25 to 30 minutes so these are the ingredients that i have for my glaze that's going on top of my king cake i have um a cup and a half of confection confectioner sugar or powdered sugar um i have 
two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. This is two, well actually three tablespoons of water. And then I have my purple sugar, my green sugar, and my yellow or gold sugar. And I'll show you how to put this together. Our king cake is out of the oven. It's a nice golden brown. Now we're gonna let it cool completely before we put the icing on. We're gonna make our icing for our king cake. We have right here, we have our confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, um, one and a half cups. And we're gonna add our fresh squeezed lemon juice to that, okay? And then we have our three tablespoons of water. We're gonna add probably about half of it first. If you feel like your consistency is too loose or too thin, you can add more confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. And if you feel like it's too thick, you can add more water, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to spoon this over our king cake. And we're going to put our sugars on the cake. Okay guys, this is my finished result of my king cake. Can't wait to get into this and try it. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I will see you on the next video. If the Lord say the same and the creek don't rise. Bye.